For the second time in eight years, Cardell Hayes has been sentenced to 25 years in prison for manslaughter in the fatal road rage shooting of former Saint star Will Smith. Investigative reporter, investigative reporter Mike Pearlstein was in court today for that emotional hearing. In a packed courtroom today, Will Smith's daughter testified how much she misses her dad, especially with her high school graduation right around the corner. The family and friends of Cardell Hayes, convicted of manslaughter in Smith's killing, testified about the hole that will be left in their lives if Hayes returns to prison. In the end, Judge Camille Burris issued the same 25-year sentence she handed down eight years ago. Not only did Judge Burris issue the same sentence, she gave the same reasons. The judge noted that the confrontation was ignited when Hayes rammed into Smith's car and that only Hayes emerged from the crash armed with a gun. Those facts remain undisputed from when Hayes was convicted by a 10 to 2 verdict in 2016 and when he was convicted unanimously of manslaughter this year after the first verdict was overturned. Hayes attorney John Fuller vowed to appeal. The fight goes on. Uh, uh, and the fight will be just as vigorous as it has been until this point. But veteran defense attorney Craig Mordock says post-conviction appeals are always an uphill battle. And once you're convicted, all of the presumptions of innocence are gone. Everything is sort of slanted against you and in favor of the state and the conviction that the jury rendered. The prosecution pointed out that Hayes has never accepted guilt and continues to say he fired eight shots into Smith's back out of fear. But even without that, Fuller says his client's remorse has always been there. Cardell Hayes apologized to Raquel with tears streaming out his eyes eight years ago. Mike Perlstein, WWL, Louisiana. Hayes faced up to 40 years in prison. D.A. Jason Williams did not speak after the sentencing, but his office did issue a statement saying, quote, the D.A.'s priority today is to be attentive to the family, to Will's family, and honor their wishes to help their children find whatever sense of closure can be had.